In this video, I'm going to show you how to embed audio files um, and also video files into both Weebly and Google site pages. So I have a Weebly site here and I have a Google site. So let's go to an audio file podcast that I created in Anchor. Once you've created it in Anchor, you will see that um, underneath the um, at the, well, the bottom right hand corner of your podcast there is the embed code if you click there um, it is cop the embed code is copied when you insert something onto a Weebly page um, an audio file or a video file what you do is you get the embed code tool drop it onto the page Click to set custom HTML, edit custom HTML. Remember, I copied the, HT, the, the, the embed code from Anchor and I just paste it there. As soon as I click outside of that box, the file is embedded. If I wanted to embed from, say, Vocaroo, if you've created an audio file in Vocaroo, you will see that you can click there where it says embed to get the embed code and then copy the embed code I come back to the Weebly page I get the embed code drop it onto the page the embed code tool click click paste and then click off it and there I have embedded the Vocaroo lastly let's show you how to embed um, a this is audio but it's also video that I've uploaded to Google Drive so if I open there there it is so I'm going to open that now the first this thing is, my is to make sure that you have shared it because otherwise people can't see it or hear it and so I'm going to change so that anyone with the link can see it done so notice how I clicked on the three dots share and um, when I went to share the I clicked on advanced change anyone with the link and save all right now there is the link to share if you're going to just share it um, with the link but if you want to embed a video into a Weebly page you click on the three dots and what you want to make sure is that you click to open in a new window when you do that, now, when you click on those three dots, it lets you choose the embed code. I clicked on embed, and then I select all of that and copy it, and then OK. I'm going to come back to the Weebly page here. Once again, click the embed code, drop it on the page, click to set the custom HTML and paste it and there is the video which has got the audio file embedded in as well now let's look at how to do that on a Google Sites page when you're in Google Sites um, the let's edit this page so I clicked on the pencil there um, what you want to do is you're going to click on the embed option here under insert now Although it gives you the choice to use the embed code, Google Sites actually doesn't like the embed code, it just wants the URL. So let's go back to the anchor page. Here what we're going to do is we just want to copy the URL, not the embed code. So I'm going to click copy URL and come back here. I'm going to embed by URL, paste that in there, and I'm going to paste um, the the whole page and insert so there I have inserted an anchor file audio file let's do that for the vocaroo all right so I'm going to click off here and what I want to do here is I just want to copy the link all right so I copy the link not the embed code come back to Google sites click to embed paste the URL and insert we go and let's go to this last one here um, 
for my image here instead of getting the embed item all i want to do is to click the url and copy that come back to google sites click the embed paste the url and insert so that is how you insert both on a google site and on a weebly page and of course what you've got to remember to do once you're done in google sites is to publish and you can view the published site to see if that worked. And there is the anchor, the Vokuru, and the video with the Chatterpix. Similarly, Weebly, I want to make sure to publish the site. And if I click to see what that looks like, that's, that was the audio one, so we'll go there. And there are my three files.